Welcome to video two of using Composer, a free open source what you see is what you get HTML authoring system. In this video we're going to look at some of the common features of Composer. Uh, let's get started here. I'm going to close out the site manager so we can uh, get a better view of what we're doing here. I'm going to paste some uh, text that I have on my clipboard. If I were to type this out it would be a two hour video. scroll to the top here and get started here. Um, in order to make any changes in this text the first thing we have to do is to highlight it. Um, let's highlight some here. The first thing I want to do is, is change the font style. Uh, if you'll click this drop down box it will give us a, a lot of different uh, font styles that we can select. I'm going to change that to an REL. Uh, it is by default a Times New Roman, and as you can see, I have changed that to an REL. Um, next thing I want to do is I want to change the the font color. So again, let's uh, highlight the the text. Click on our little uh, icon for uh, choosing a, a text color. We can either type in a different hex number, or we can come down to the name box and type in another name. Uh, uh, red, blue, uh, green, whatever, or we can come to our predefined colors, select one, click OK, and that will uh, change that text color. As you can see, I've changed that to uh, a dark red. Um, we can also uh, highlight your text with a background color, so let's select some right here and come up to this little icon and, and click there. Bring us our highlight color chart here. We're going to select a pale yellow for highlighting that text. And as you can see, that's inserted a background of pale yellow to uh, highlight the selected text that uh, we had there. Um, next thing I want to do is I want to show you how to change the, the uh, font size. Now all the changes we're made, that we're making here, we can also do using cascading style sheets. Uh, we'll be covering those in another video. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to use our, uh, our little button here for making a uh, smaller font. By clicking this, as you can see, it'll change the, uh, the font size to a smaller size. Uh, the more times I click that button, the smaller the font gets. By clicking the button right next to it, we can also increase the font size. Again, the more you click the button, the larger the font will uh, be. Um, if you wish to make your, your text bold, simply highlight it. Click the bold button here, and we now have bold text. Uh, if you wish to uh, make an italicized text, simply highlight it. Click this uh, little icon here, and as you can see, we now have italicized text. This is a very easy program to use. I'd encourage you to uh, to open it up and, and paste some text in here and, and play with it. We don't have time in this video to cover all the different features, but this will show you some of the basic ones. If you wish to underline text, something come up here, click this little U icon, and as you can see, our text is now underlined. Uh, by the next, using the next series of buttons, we can change the alignment. The alignment is, uh, uh, the text is aligned to the left by default. Uh, let's uh, select all, highlight it all, and we can change that by clicking this uh, button to a, to a uh, uh, center alignment, or we can change this uh, to a right alignment, or by clicking this button we can justify that text, uh, change it to a justified alignment. As you can see when we do that, our text basically lines up evenly on both the, the left margin and the right margin. Now let's scroll back to the top and and go on to bulleted lists. I'm going to put my cursor right here so to, to uh, indicate where I want the bulleted list inserted. So we'll come up here to our, our uh, well let's see, we're going to start with a numbered list. We'll click this icon. As you can see it's inserted the number one and we can uh, make as, uh, as many uh, uh, bulleted or uh, numbered items as we wish. By hitting the enter key it will uh, create another number 
and we can uh, insert another item here and so on by hitting enter twice that'll take us out of that mode uh, now we're going to insert a uh, bulleted list so come up here and we'll click this little uh, icon here and as you can see instead of a number it creates a bullet and again we can uh, type in whichever whatever that we want uh, to insert here hit enter again and it'll take us down another line to another bullet and by hitting, re and it, hitting enter twice it'll take us out of that mode uh, the next buttons here are for uh, for uh, uh, indenting or outdenting whichever you wish to do if I highlight some text here hit the indent, indent button you see that uh, that text is indented. I can move it the other way by hitting the next button but we're going to move on uh, to something else. Uh, next thing I want to do is I want to show you how to insert an image so uh, we're going to click at the top of the page here we're going to insert an image at the very top so click our uh, little image button here it'll bring our image properties box up here uh, we can either t type in a file path to our image or we can come over here and uh, click on the little file icon here allow me to uh, navigate my computer and find the uh, image that I wish inserted I have one right here so we're going to insert that there um, by default it'll allow you to uh, place some alternate text in there it, this is good for uh, uh, creating the description of the image if people have their uh, images shut off in their browser also good for uh, placing keywords for a search engine placement or for handicap issues so we can type in whatever alternate text we uh, wish here there's some other uh, tabs up here that we can make some other changes in our image but uh, we don't have time for going over all that in this video so let's insert that image here and uh, as you can see this is aligned to the left by default if I click on it and, and uh, click one of these um, icons up here I can change the alignment here I just uh, changed that to uh, to a, a center alignment or I can change it to a, a right alignment by clicking this little button here let's change this back to a center alignment <coughs> Now, uh, in f future videos, we're going to cover other issues. I'm going to create a video for covering cascading style sheets, for inserting forms and uh, uh, tables, which are, are really um, good for uh, aligning different uh, objects in your web page. I'm going to bring this video to a close right now. I, uh, some of my uh, accounts will only allow me to upload a 10-minute video. so. Um, this does it for video two. I hope to see in video three where we're going to come back and cover some other features of uh, Composer. So uh, have a good day and hope to see you in video three. Bye now.